Good afternoon, my tea wolves. This here is Mr. Quentin, coming at you live through the power of the Screencastify internet. Yes, just in case you needed a refresher or if you were not present for our Zooms or on campus today, I wanted to make sure you all had an idea of what we covered. So, uh, and today you will find we're picking on eighth period just because. So, for eighth period, for example, you of course will go to your own period. You'd click on eighth period or your relative period, quarter one. You will then go to week of September 21st through 25th and head into Monday. And you will see we have lots of fun stuff in here for you today. The very first thing that I want you to do is you're going to go and click on the This Land is Your Land video. And click on it one more time. It'll take you right over here to YouTube where you can watch this video. Uh, there's not a whole lot of video action in here. Uh, so this is why... At the same time that you are watching the video, you can also pull up the lyrics. This land is your land lyrics. You'll see here that you can read these lyrics as you listen to the song. The song is only going to get through about right here, about to the one, two, three, fourth verse before it finally fades out. And that's fine. That's about as far as you need to go. The idea here is to kind of get you to the idea of listening to the descriptions of the land to see if maybe you could pick out things that were part of the physical geographic environment, a physical feature or characteristic versus a human feature or characteristic. So for example, perhaps you notice that California and the New York Island are places that have existed as a land for a long time. These were not made by humans, but existed already. That would make them physical features, much like a redwood forest and Gulf Stream waters. Those are also things that are physical geographic in physically geographic in nature. Their features are characteristic of things that were here before we were and or things that we did not have an impact on versus looking at something like the highway. A highway is definitely something that we have made or perhaps signs and no, that say no trespassing. Certainly those would be things that we have made a direct impact on. That becomes human geography and those are human geographic features or characteristics. Features and characteristics are synonyms in this case. The idea is that you're trying to determine whether or not something is already existing. If it's already a feature of the earth, it makes it physical. If it's something that we have done as humans, that is man-made, that becomes a human geographic feature or characteristic. And that is what leads us into our discussion, where you can find here that we also have a... Uh, how do you describe a place? You can go in here and it will link a discussion that we had. You may or may not find some of these slides will ultimately be filled out because of discussions had in class. But they're mainly here to decide to decipher for you when you look at an image, can you tell the things that are physical geographic features or characteristics versus things that are human? geographic features and characteristics. And so that is what we would talk about as a group. So for example, in this first picture, you might be able to see as a physical characteristic that makes this place unique, why there's a big mountain in the background. That's certainly not something that was man-made. This is definitely something that was already a part of the earth and shaped by the earth. And that is why in this section, one might find themselves typing a mountain. You might find other physical characteristics like the ocean or this very small island, this tiny, tiny little island. Those are things that are not man-made. They are physical features of the earth versus human characteristics that make this place unique, such as the actual little huts, these little homes. Those were definitely constructed by humans and therefore become a human characteristic or feature. You might even be able to see something here like that hammock, perhaps even the dock 
And if you're an eagle-eyed person, you might even be able to see the color and the paint right in that area that you can see would be something that is man-made because man-made, it's human-made, the paint becomes an actual geographic feature that is human. It shows our impact on the environment. And so we chose a few of these slides and talked about them. You are free to look over these slides to see which slides we did as a class and maybe what you might be able to come up with on your own. The actual assignment, however, is to do the human and physical geography assignment. This is what needs to be done by 11.59 p.m. tonight. Make sure that your big blue oval is over the word assignment so that you can see that you will need to use the attached What is Geography article to complete your Google slide assignment. By selecting What is Geography, you will see that you can come to this wonderful article and you will need to read this article because it does explain geography, but it also explains the differences between physical geography and human geography. Also, on the second page, you'll see that there are examples and explanations of different physical geographic features and human geographic features. And so this is what you'll be able to use to help you better understand what you need to do in the assignment. The assignment itself is to make use of the slide deck so that you can come up with three examples of images that you'll find that have three physical characteristics of geography and three human images that are characteristics of geography, human geography to be specific. So if you look here, you will see that I have put as an example in the physical side, I put an image of a volcano. A volcano is a naturally occurring landform. That means it was definitely here um, and we didn't put it here or alter it to be there. That makes it a physical geographic characteristic. The human geographic characteristic that I have chosen is a brick. Now, we certainly made that brick, and because we used our we used our knowledge of the environment and we used part of the physical environment to create this human geography, it's still human geography. And that is why I have that as an image of human geography. It's a human characteristic or feature of geography, where the volcano is a physical geographic factor or characteristic. Now, you'll note here that there is a pre-AP and GT extension. If you are not in a pre-AP or GT class, this does not apply to you. If you are in a pre-AP or GT class, then you will need to do this extension as well, which is explain which characteristics of human geography come from physical geography. How? Why? And so I used the example of this brick. In my example, the human geographic feature of the brick came from minerals mined from the earth. The minerals themselves are a physical, uh-oh, there we go, are a physical geographic feature or characteristic. So now I have explained just exactly how this brick is a human geographic feature, but it came from the physical geographic side. And you have your own slide with which to do this. If you need to add more slides, you absolutely can. And this is the assignment that is due at 11.59, by 11.59 p.m. If you would like, I also have a wonderful little bonus video. You don't have to watch it, but it might be nice. There is a five themes of geography video titled, titled Mr. Help. And it's only about four or five minutes long. So if you wanna check that out, you can. And it's a very fun way to explain all of our themes of geography, which are movement, region, human environment interaction, location, and place which is again why we're talking about how to describe a place.
I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, of course, you can send me a message in Schoology or you can send me an email. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and we will see you tomorrow.